Hello beautiful people, welcome back. It's underscore again to the third day and to my fish pond here today gonna be a rescue day of finishing everything gonna be it's called uh renovation. It's coming now, the renovation today, because uh, I have some of the gentlemen inside here. The work is ongoing from uh, to make sure that uh, look at this place here guys. So these are the stuffs that have been removed from this position live live. So they wanna make sure that uh, this place uh, is uh, removed such kind of the collapsed land that uh, fold onto this position back uh, to the top side of uh, this uh, uh, segment of the fish pond here and make sure that now the fish pond looks very big so hey, the protocol is ongoing and we have a lot of water coming out guys look at this look at this everywhere is water coming out from this position look at the wow so there are the people using spades here wow fantastic Wow, and also we have some timbers here. If you can just remember, these were like uh, I used them uh, during uh, making sure that uh, the wall will never fall again. But now we have to remove them and uh, segment them again. Eh, you have started now revolizing. Wow, it should be levelized from up, like that place there. If you want to levelize. Wow. So it's just guys uh, the removal of uh, this uh, collapsed land and uh, making sure that the level is of uh, this area here until that far end so as uh, we have uh, a levelized pond and to this position today is today guys so this is the work ongoing from this position today fantastic just use of space wow. And guys, uh, this is the work of the day of today, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that uh, we have finished everything. That uh, uh, this uh, kind of uh, the heap of soil is out from uh, this position. Look at even this position here, guys. So it fold down onto the fish pond, and by now the fish pond now looks very big. Wow. Let me check. Look at how big now it is, guys. So it's gonna be very big, like the first one at the downer area, and the second one is here. So this is the third fish pond, guys. So it's gonna be rectified today, and uh, we make sure that everything is sealed onto this fish pond. Thank you very much, guys, for you watching the videos. Always coming from this position, and today is the third day, so we're gonna be having this uh, stuff uh, done once and for all. And also, I have to stock here water, and also I start fertilization. And uh, on uh, 23rd, I might be putting here some of uh, the fish. And also, I'm gonna be starting. Uh, it's called uh, uh, a fishing zone, and to this position at the upper area, which is now having like a cabin, like which uh, people might be just uh, 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 sitting on it and uh, leisuring onto this position, which is coming very, very soon. So the work is ongoing, and uh, we give them a little bit time, so as they continue with their work. Water is everywhere. Wow. This is the work of the day, guys. How is the work, man? The work is so good. It's so good, or yeah. tough ash? No tough ash. Uh -huh. So interested, uh -huh. we are so happy, <laughs> and we're doing this way. So you like whatever you have? I like how to play with the it's like a, Oh, it's like a clay, clay bat, eh? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Wow. Wow. 
This is the work, guys. It has to be done. This is the work of the day. And also levelizing the pond and making sure that uh, we have uh, a levelized pond via you can just use uh, the jembes to just uh, remove the soil that is just there, the loose one and uh, we make sure that uh, we levelize this place but we have a lot of water coming out from this position and uh, we shall know how to make it and also we shall use the uh, extra timbers and which are just there to make sure that uh, uh, this place uh, is uh, put like a gabion so as we don't have to lose more much but uh, remember guys uh, the fish pond was reaching into this uh, uh, area here but from this position i am standing it has increased itself like a one 1.2 meters which is like one and a half a meter from uh, it has added itself onto that position so uh, the fish pond now is expanded so by now it has a uh, wow now it's going to be very big very very big and to this position so it wanna resemble the faster big one and to the downer area but we have to bear with the circumstances that uh, it's uh, like a tragedy or it's uh, like um, the human uh, you call it uh, uh, the land collapsing which is a natural calamity that do happen sometimes and that's why we have to enroll ourselves into this position so keep it locked guys because i'm gonna be showing you where we have reached and how we shall do it once and for all keep it in touch welcome back this is a one-on-one -on -one live from my fish farming and to this position and the work is ongoing so we have reached at a way that uh, even right now you can even discover something here uh, this soil is like a plastic so you can even look at this you can never sink but uh, you can see look at them uh, show them uh, down here how it's uh, just uh, shaking look at this wow but you can never sink it's like a plastic so it's like a uh, this area has a lot of water uh, accumulated into this position but uh, we are about to finish guys uh, uh, removing everything uh, from outside the one uh, that had collapsed and also uh, we are reaching to a statement whereby now we want to make sure that uh, this fish ponder is leveled and we have uh, stopped water going out so as uh, the one that's coming out like look at even this position here we have more of the water coming out from this uh, every corner so as uh, it will now accumulate a little bit then we make uh, what's called now leveling of the pond uh, to make sure that uh, every side uh, is equivalent to each one whenever we have water to not accumulate at one position but uh, it shouldn't be stuck at uh, uh, such a specific position like uh, upper, uh, at this upper area we have more water coming from this zone so it should not be coming to uh, going to the other levels but uh, it should be in one position and that's how we want it uh, to be so keep it in touch guys uh, this is going to be a practice of today of uh, uh, what's called a uh, uh, pond uh, maintenance and uh, it's like uh, making sure that uh, the pond uh, has uh, the uh, equal uh, uh, water positioned at every corner and making sure that everything is put in consideration. So guys, uh, keep it in touch and this is going to be the part of uh, the practice of today and we make sure that uh, everything is coming out uh, very clear from this pond and we make it once and for all for today. So keep it in touch and this will be the point to be taken. The work is on progress guys we have reached around 65 uh, percent complete and uh, the only work we're remaining is just uh, making sure that uh, this soil hey, we have a lot of water guys a lot of water look at this wow let's let's keep on going the grilling so as uh, we make uh, this thing once and for all guys uh, from this position wow Thank you.
Guys, uh, we have reached at Asesta now at a stage now we want to bring uh, such kind of the logs outside because uh, they want to be helping us in another way round so I have to remove them out and also the guy there up in Metosha Toto has to block there so as uh, we have water accumulating onto this fish pond so as uh, it can help us in terms of uh, Making sure that uh, we levelize uh, the pond and uh, it's the use of a uh, jambe. Wow, we are about to finish, guys. So we have to remove uh, this kind of the timbers outside. Wow. Wow. We're about, eh? Yeah, we're almost. Finishing. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Guys, they're here even walking is a problem here. Wow. The levelizing, uh, I'm always talking about, guys, uh, it's the use of a jembe. <laughs> this is how it's done. That's the level is in there. So, wanna be uh, pulling such kind of uh, the mud to the far end of the corner. So as uh, we have this water that's accumulating onto this center, comes back to this corner. So as we can levelize between this corner and that far end corner, and we make sure that everything is uh, put in position. Wow.
Na to. Guys, uh, now I have to make sure that uh, everything is sealed. I want to be whenever they are just throwing some of uh, the soil up here. So I have to make sure that uh, I remove it and uh, I just pull it out from uh, this position because uh, whenever it's just clogging here, it brings that, uh, uh, it's called a force, which is now applying here and making uh, making this place to collapse, which is uh, now uh, bulking this place and uh, loose. Uh, it's sometimes becoming loose because uh, it's uh, wet. They are just removing some soil that which is wet. And whenever they place it up here, it want to be wetting this place. And uh, that's why we sometimes 
since we have uh, this place uh, collapsing and uh, I have to make sure that uh, I have to uh, remove it uh, uh, further from uh, this position so as uh, this place will not be uh, uh, bulked uh, heavily as uh, by now it is just a uh, reducing the effort or uh, the forces that uh, it might be applying onto this position. So come with me, I'll show you how we just do. No problem. So guys, uh, whenever they're just throwing from down there, up here, so my work here is now to make sure that uh, these stuffs now are thrown uh, far away from uh, uh, the edges of the fish pond because uh, of uh, such kind of miscellaneous effects sometimes they might be bringing. So guys, uh, this is the work that is go on going on to this position. So keep it in touch, keep it locked because uh, everything shall be shown and how we rectify this fish pond today. Guys, uh, this is the work now I've been talking about now, the reveling of uh, the fish pond. Uh, and uh, you can have, uh, now see even what is now coming from uh, uh, this position here now going back uh, to where they have just come from at that far end and this is gonna be the uh, effect that we want as the uh, water to come uh, the way they're just uh, leveraging you can even see they're just uh, making sure that uh, the they use a jembe and it's slanting jembe and the other guy with uh, a spade there so they're just uh, uh, pulling such kind of uh, the soil and uh, to make sure that uh, it dilutes onto this water here and uh, this water gonna be going back uh, to the top side where now we have the water channels coming from so that is now called the leveling and uh, there's no use um, uh, just uh, taking them out uh, because uh, you can never just uh, get it with with the use of a scoop nor a, a spade and you get it out from this place so the only alternative is by the use of a uh, uh, such kind of a leveling so it's just pulling it to where water is then uh, we have this water going back uh, to where this kind of uh, uh, the soil is uh, just uh, being uh, or it's just like a, a clay soil and whenever it's just pulled you can never just get it uh, uh, get it out the way it is so you have to do the necessary of uh, the work of the fish pond this is how the leveling is done so this is gonna be the effect of uh, how now the leveling is done and to the top side there uh, we shall have uh, such kind of the cement bags bulked together so as we can uh, heap them there and make sure that uh, uh, we don't have uh, again uh, uh, land collapsing or whenever we have uh, more of uh, water coming from every section it doesn't affect uh, this position but uh, we have water coming from every section at that uh, <coughs> far corner and uh, that's why we have such kind of uh, an effect of uh, the top side uh, collapsing at every time but by now we're gonna be uh, making sure that everything is put in consideration so as we don't have uh, to lose much water and also to lose uh, uh, soil to be loose and uh, we have uh, soil collapsing into this position and uh, that's how the work should be done guys uh, keep it locked and this is gonna be the end of the video how the fish pond should look like uh, and this is gonna be the effect onto this position so guys uh, keep it in touch keep it uh, tuned so as we can groove together as a team and this is gonna be 
with the positive vibes coming out uh, always. Eh, hey, the cousins to Mbosiamboka, they are here. They think that it's fishing time, but uh, everything is put uh, in consideration. Keep it in touch. Things are coming more lit. What's up? What's up, bro? <laughs> Wag one. Get out. Get out. It's a mouse. What? Is it in the UAV? Get out. Come on. If you are getting around, I'm going to come. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what I don't want to be so much food. Slip back or up. So, Kachoto Karusha Quinj. Let's uh, take it outside. Oh, you wanted to stay here? No. Get it out. Yeah, very much. So go, go away. Then we are going to the second fish pond. Jesus, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's through itself. The second fish pond, I don't know. Now. Oh, we have a tortoise here, fantastic. What's up? Wants to go inside. No, stay. Wow. Where are you going? Very good. Wow. Small tortoise. No. Come here. I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna take you out. Look at how it's hiding. <laughs> it's hiding here. Oh, they, they do still hang inside here. Jesus. Carry it with my gumboot, guys. Wow, look at this. I want to take it out. Yeah. Fantastic! Here it is. So, it's gonna survive outside from this position. You have more much of the animals here, guys, but I don't need such kind of a the total is here because whenever I bring some smaller. Uh, small fish here, they're gonna be eating the tortoise here. They're gonna be eating the smaller uh, fries and also the fingerlings here. So, to wanna be outside. Wow. How is everything? Cool? Wow. Fantastic.
Guys, and now it's uh, sealing the outlet where now we released water to pass by. And uh, it's making sure that uh, whenever you just dig some of the soil from here, it's very heavily compacted to make sure that uh, this place doesn't have any leakage that's coming out. Because uh, there's a day we made sure that uh, uh, we have removed uh, this area so as uh, we have water penetrating out so as we could rescue the fish very easily. So by now, it's uh, the guy is just... Uh, using a jembe and uh, 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 digging here some of uh, uh, heaps of soil, then uh, throwing them here. And the other two guys here, they are bulking them uh, into this position. Very heavy compactation because uh, uh, this place is loose. Uh, you know, the, uh, we have just released here some water from this position. And also the fish pond now is uh, now, uh, everyone is now out. So as uh, the fish pond now will continue now accessing and accessing water more. And making sure that uh, now the fish pond is fully uh, uh, made so as uh, now the only thing we are needing there is water to accumulate and we have fish stocked into that position so that's how the work has been done very easy and uh, but uh, somehow uh, it has some challenges guys so that's how the work should be done and this is a fully equipped and a fully made uh, uh, fish pond and to this position and you're gonna be checking it uh, from my videos uh, from the start up to the finish on how you want to make a fish pond and to your place and this is gonna be a fantastic point uh, ever possible so the guys now when they finish here the only thing remaining is a uh, money then uh, everyone should just leave uh, to his position so that's how things are gonna be uh, done and to this point Ah, usimbe yon ni nani? Simbe apo. Chimba viruku na enda na yuko. Ona viruku na enda na yuko chini. Yeah. You should just dig. I'm talking about. You should just dig from that point because whenever it dugs uh, into the upper area, that's the pathway where people sometimes pass through via this uh, area. So we wanna be digging the downer area. And this guy here from uh, this one. This was uh, removed uh, during the uh, construction of the ditch, so it should be returned to its position. Exactly. It was a three manpower. We have three manpower here and uh, they have just done this work very efficiently. And uh, you should be there like me, I should be just available. So as I oversee how things are going to be done, you should not just uh, leave so as they can just do themselves because uh, sometimes some people don't have knowledge, but they can do. So it should be there so as I can take care of uh, and see how things are going to be running. So everything is very efficient and we have sealed everything. Now it, there is no collapse again. I hope so. There was no collapse again into this position. So I just uh, want to get the water uh, accumulating into the fish pond. Then from there, I want to be starting the fertilization of the pond. Uh, after fertilization of the pond, water will be so clear. By now, it's a little bit uh, dirty, but uh, whenever it accumulates a little bit up, it will uh, have uh, a clear uh, clear and uh, transparent and sometimes it talk about clear water and from that position now uh, fertilization will be uh, in place and whenever now it reaches at a time where now we shall have a high turbidity which is the green content of water we shall now uh, place here some of the fish because i've just put our orders a little on 23rd this month we're going to be having the fish stocked here and also the construction of a, a cabin and to the upper area of that position because um, this is the fish pond that uh, we're going to be having uh, people fishing from and uh, it wanna be starting very soon whenever i now have a cabin here we'll be just uh, constructing it small small because uh, of the pocket demand guys and uh, that's how we're gonna be having everything in position keep it in touch keep it low thank you very much for you people watching my videos until this far end and keep it wagon well